Hey guys, this is Dr. Ryan DeBell with The Movement Fix. And what I'm going to show you guys in this video is how to improve your double under skills and eventually your triple under skills and your single legged double under skills. Now, you have to have good double unders before you can get those other things. And before you can have good double unders, you need to be really good with the jump rope. So I'm going to show you the three step approach on improving your jumping. Step number one is to get a baseline amount of strength and coordination with a rope. And everybody loves to skip step number one because it's not you know, the RX movement in the workout. But sometimes you have to scale back to make your RX better. So here's how we do the first step. Jump number one is just the single under. And I know a lot of people who can do double unders, but they suck at the single under. And then they wonder why they have a hard time getting to triples and single legged double unders. So you have to be good at single unders. You should be able to do 100 single unders in a row before you even worry about double unders at all. The second jump in the first step that you need to get good at is the alternating step single under. Okay, so you're just doing one time under and alternating your feet. You should be able to do a hundred of these in a row without hitting your feet. Step number three, and this one's the most important if you want to start doing single legged double unders, is single legged single unders. You just do one time of the rope underneath while jumping on one foot. Usually when I train this, I alternate uh, 10 jumps on each side and I want to accumulate a hundred each foot and you should be able to do that unbroken. And jump number four is the high knees single under. It's just like the alternating step but you bring your knees up. And this trains power with coordination which is going to be important in the triple under. So you should be able to do a hundred of each of those jumps in a row and the way you know that you can move from step one in this process to step number two is when you can do all 500 of those jumps unbroken or with maybe one or two mess ups. But you shouldn't move on to step number two until you're really good at step number one. Okay, so step number two is learning the tempo of the double under. A lot of people don't progress in their double under because they don't work on how do I string them together because they're always hitting their feet. So what you do is you take a rope, put it in one of your hands, and then you're basically, it's like shadow jumping, I guess you could say. So you basically shadow jump, the rope is spinning in one hand, but it's like it's a double under. Okay, so you're going to do this for multiple reps. You should be able to do 40 or 50 of these with good tempo. And you'll know when you have it with this. There's not as good of a, you know, a, a cutoff like there is with step one. But once you feel that rhythm, it really transfers over into step number three. So step number three is just improving the technique of your double under. And this is where most people think they need to spend their time when they're trying to get their double unders better instead of taking care of steps one and two first. So the main things that I see with a double under that people need to improve on is their hand positioning, which should be in front of the body, and close to their body because if you go behind your body or in line uh, it, it takes the rope too far back and if you start to get your hands away from the body right it makes the rope shorter and you hit your feet and when you use these um, efficiency techniques you can make your rope shorter which makes it go faster another common uh, error that I see or a way that we can make the double unders better is to hold the feet together okay when we do this we're decreasing the variables if you have an inch or two inches between your feet when you're jumping, that's another area that you could make a mistake on or the sides of your feet will start to hit the rope. So hold your feet together. It makes you more solid and it, makes, uh, it takes out like sloppiness in the jump too. Another thing I see as well is people don't know where to put their head. So they'll either look down too far and that'll cause them to jump forward and then they'll hit their feet because of that or they'll look up and jump backwards and then the rope will just go all over the place. When you're jumping, you should have your you should basically be looking straight forward with your head in neutral position and <clears throat> you could probably look like 20 feet in front of you instead of straight forward. Uh, so sometimes that helps when there's people walking in front of you and stuff like that is to look down at the ground. Otherwise you can get you know your eyes distracted when someone walks past you and that'll mess you up. Follow those three steps. When you're really good at step number one, that sets up the foundation to be really good at double unders. 
once you're really good at double unders and you have that strength, and I would say that you're really good at double unders when you can do about 200 unbroken, then the triple under isn't a strength issue, it's a timing and coordination issue. And you just need to start working on do a few double unders in a row and then jump higher and maintain the same form. So what I'm gonna show you now is the, the uh, difference in what my single under, double under, and triple under look like. And they should look all relatively the same. The only thing that's different is how high you jump and how high you spin the rope. So if you see here, when I'm doing the single under, I'm jumping very, very low, and I'm perfectly vertical, and my head's looking straight forward or slightly down. And then when I go to my double under, my double under looks identical, except I'm jumping higher, and the rope is spinning faster. And when I go to my triple under, it gets a little harder, so I might go over all over the place a little bit, but I'm still vertical, and I'm still looking forward. I'm not doing the donkey kick, like I'm not bending my knees a lot, because then that really messes up how you land. Okay, so that's what the, the triple under should look like, and the progression of the three. They should look identical, in technique-wise, body position-wise. You're just jumping higher. For the single-legged double under, you're gonna hold your leg in a specific way. And it's the same way that you held it in the single-legged single under. So if you watch my single-legged single under here, you'll see that my thighs are parallel to each other. So my, one of my leg, the leg that is up in the air isn't forward or backwards. It's in line with my uh, jumping leg. And I'm just bent at the knee. This typically is the best way to do the single-legged single, under, or the single -legged double under without hitting your foot. Uh, this will be a big strength issue for a lot of people. The ability to jump on one foot and aggressively land and jump high enough again. So, you, like I said, I can't overemphasize enough how important it is to be good at single-legged single-unders before you start trying to do the uh, single-legged double-unders. I hope that answers some of your guys' questions and gives you a few tips on how to improve the double under and how the, being really good at the double under allows you to be good at the triple under and how being good at single legged single unders helps you with the single legged double under. I hope I convinced you, don't skip the first step, don't skip the foundation. The reason that I, you know, I have good jumping skills with the rope is because when I was in high school in track, we trained, uh, we didn't even train double unders, we trained single unders running with the rope, single-legged, single-unders, and all those skills. So the base strength and the feet and the ankles were already there. And a lot of people don't have that background, so they have a hard time being able to pop back up between the jumps. And that's a strength thing. So give those things a try. If you have any questions, please comment, and uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please share it, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.